turned on the music playlist and was swaying their hips from side to side listening to Tank. So that's my first question. The second question is, once the Tank song got playing and the pussy popping remain because Moose, I'm quite sure your balls are very heavy and loaded with, with cum. Um, who popped the, the cheeks first? Who got into the cheeks first? Um, and then after that, what was the first thing you guys ate? Because you guys are not allowed to eat. So I'm quite sure you went to the closest bodega poppy store because it looks like Musa loves a good honey bun and Solar, he looks like he likes taffies. He, likes, he looks like he likes to suck on a lot of things. So I'm just trying to understand those three things. Who played the music playlist? Who got the pussy popping going? And what closest bodega did you guys go to to eat the snacks? Yo, what is he talking about? Next caller, please. What, that was a, that was my question. Y'all not gonna answer my that's, question? That's like, everybody caller, else please. is being mean to everybody else is being mean to you guys. Yo, so, hey, hey, what's the way? What's the way today? Three, three. Throw the threes up in the chat, man. What were you talking about? Throw the threes up in the chat. Three to three. Yeah, you know, not, not, well, um, anyway, um, yeah, listen, listen, um, uh, yo, host, kicker, listen. Host, your not, makeup yo, is fabulous, host. Listen. Your makeup is fabulous, girl. Your hair is fabulous. So sorry, you're you're your your God is gone. Your God's never. Yo, 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 yo. Listen, man, y'all not about to right back out. Face, bro. Throw the threes. This is if you have serious questions or concerns. Period. And just so y'all know, man, when y'all come up in this panel, man, make sure y'all be respectful. We're not answering no ignorant questions. What's up? Number What's two. What's good, guys? How y'all doing? We doing yeah, well. How about you? Um, uh, it was a previous question that the lady asked you, Jax, and you said that would never happen. But take it from someone who I was there before all of y'all. Y'all know who I am? No, I don't know who you are. Who are you? Okay, I was there way before y'all. I was there. I was in the first bunch. I was in Mellow Nation. I'm BP. Hold on, that that. Hold on. What's your name is BP? That's uh, yeah. BP. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> so check this out. You said that never happened. You said he'll never snitch on you. He'll never turn on you. But I can recall a time when we was getting robbed in Honduras, and he was the first one. Like he, he's the leader of the group. He was the first one to run. He was the first one to just leave us out that we had a gun. Oh, the same shit. Y'all should have ran with him. So how can you say, thing. so how can, no, we standing there, we, 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 we trying to, we, try, it's a group of us. Why would you run? That's the leader. Y'all trying That's to win. That's the leader. Y'all should have ran with him. If somebody pull a gun out on me, I'm running. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm out. Yeah. I'm running. What are you talking about? Say okay, second question. Did y'all see my interview on Fox 5 tonight? No, no. we didn't see that. Check it out. They're going to rerun it. They're going to rerun it. And third question. Listen, it took me two years to almost get my mind right when I left from there. I was there for a year. So I would just encourage y'all to just get your mind right. Everything that you believe in that he could do, you can. You got it in yourself. That's what he teach you, right? That's, that's, what, that's, hey, that's what he came here hey, to do. Hey, 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 BP, hey, hey, BP. Let me that's say what, something. That's what, hold up. One Go at a time. Bro. One at a time. Let me time. say something. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. When you hop on a spiritual path, you can't hop on the spiritual path alone. You need a guy. You need a mentor. You need to do an OG. Otherwise, you're going to be out here with a... It's like a baby. It's like giving a baby a gun, but the baby don't know how to use the gun. It's like when you get the knowledge, the knowledge is power, right? But you, you don't know how to really apply the knowledge without having a mentor right there to guide you through the... Like, to guide you. You need somebody right there to guide you when, when you're down, when, when, when you're struggling. You need somebody that's messing with all that. How long does it take for that guidance? How long does it take for that guidance? Let me tell you something. I didn't I didn't get my power. I didn't get my strength till I left from up under Nature Boy's thumb. Because guess what? I realized everything that he was teaching. And back then, it was something totally different from what y'all learning now. I had it in me. But he was suppressing it. He was he was making me feel like I was the little one and he was the big one. And everything that he could do, I couldn't do. But well, when see, I see left, problem, I, the, that's the problem, when I gained my the problem, power. The problem, hold on. Let me say something real quick. Let me say something real quick. Other, the problem with that is there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Niggas don't know how to be a soldier. You got to be a soldier. Learn how to be a how soldier. How long do you have to be a soldier? Be a too many Even chiefs soldiers not move Indians. up rank. Even soldiers it's too many move up chiefs rank. And not you enough Indians. The same rank forever. Not, not everybody's a leader. Not everybody is a leader. Not everybody yes, is a leader. Yes, you are. You are a leader, Not everybody is a You are a leader, You are a leader, Musa. Y'all like that. Not everybody built like that. If it wasn't for y'all, that shit would not be as tight as it is. One second, BP. 
One second. Hey, I'm going to be right back. One second. One second. second. It's not that everybody not leaders. What it is is that my chief has been ordained for this mission to lead us. So we honor that rank. We honor that as disciples and as angels of God, of, of three God. You got you to gotta know that he was ordained. Uh, mute yourself. Who, who ordained him? He was ordained by the universe. What you mean? By the universe. What you mean? Okay. I just want to leave y'all with that piece. I'm it's out. all good. Appreciate you, BP. All right, y'all. Whew. Y'all got it hot in here. Uh... Hey, Hart, you got a question? No? Um, who next? Posse. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, my bad. You say unmute him? All right, my bad, y'all. Uh, it's a lot. Just don't keep going up. Questions, questions. I am questions. home. Hi. Um, hey. I just have a question. Hi, I just have a question for Jax. Um, I know you said that the child is belongs to the father and so on and so forth, but then you say your children are white supremacy, per supremacists. You know they are a part of white supremacy. So I don't understand how if your child is yours and you're a black man, and you know how is it then the child is part of white supremacy? That's my own genetic. Question. Genetically, is my child, but. My baby mother has the mind of white supremacy. So she's raising a child and that's the mind that she will give to our child. And that's just what it is. You become your environment. Become, say that again. But you're the father though. Just like if you had the child and that's the mother, she don't like how you're raising the child or whatever. She'll go through what she need to do to get her child. So you could do the same thing as a, as a father respectfully. Of course, but me and the mother aren't on the same frequency mentally. So naturally, we magnetically repulse from each other. Uh, we are oh, on God. different, we on different, different paths going towards the same source. It just got different, different paths. And I chose to, to pick up my uncle and to walk the independent and personal path for myself. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello. You keep a question. We already mm -hmm. in here, Hancho. Welcome back. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back. I just wanted to say, I, I just wanted to say something real quick. Um, I think that carbonation members think that we just hate their religion. We hate their way of thinking. We hate their way of living. They're all kind of different organizations and different religions that have different beliefs. And everybody believes something and they have that right to do so. But I wanted to be very clear. For me and for uh, uh, some of the, the, the groups that, that I'm affiliated with on here um our my circle and zero fucks given is that for us and for a lot of people on here, it's not your beliefs that disgust us. It's the behavior that you use to support your beliefs, which is the, the physical and verbal abuse. Understand this. If it was not for the physical and verbal abuse and the concern for a child in that home, I wouldn't care what you did. I wouldn't care what you did. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. Somebody else may be an atheist, but that's their business and that's my business. The concern for me always has and always will be the safety for the men and women and children that cross that threshold. I'm concerned for Musa. 
my brother. I'm concerned from Juju because, nigga, you from Chicago. All the big brothers, all the OGs here that have been through the stomping ground, that have been through the game, the south side of Chicago, the west side of Chicago, the, all the OGs that have been through it, have been through the system, little nigga would have scooped you up, scooped you up and mentored you and loved you and helped you kill you. You went all the way on the other side of town and let another nigga break you and set you further back than what you were. Scorpio, 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 give me a... Hold on, hold on, let her talk, let her talk, let her talk. Let her, let her talk, let her talk, or I'm gonna mute everybody. We, we, we don't hate your, I don't hate your religion. I don't hate what you believe. I hate the behavior that you have put yourselves in. You don't understand your worth. You guys went to carbonation already broken, and then you let this nigga break you some more. Where is your worth that your God gave you? This is not your life. He abuses you verbally. He abuses you physically. He uses you to build up his ego. What about your fucking ego, man? Where's your worth? What do you see when you look in a fucking mirror? This is about your life. You are living your life for him. What about your life? You are kings. Man, this is sad. What about your families? What about your children? What legacy will you leave behind? Because this is bullshit. That's we are that's out that's here advocating for you because we fucking care. And if nobody fucking told you, we all fucking love you. And I don't want to see nothing bad happen to you. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, can this I respond? I like to, I would like to respond. All right. Uh, first, I want to say that I love the energy and um, I don't fault you for how you feel, because I understand that the way that we portray ourselves online is very controversial. We are very controversial figures and a lot of people don't understand our art right now, but soon you will. Um, and I believe that you have good intentions and you have a good heart. Um, I just believe that as a people, there's a lot of things that we don't understand. And because of that, I don't I don't fault you for how you feel. And um, I feel like I, like to see my I feel like that energy. Me. I feel like you I feel like you care. I feel like you care. And that's good. I, I'm thankful for that. Um, me personally, I'm a I'm a very intelligent person. I'm a very intelligent being. I'm probably one of the smartest people you've ever talked to in your life. And I know that without a shadow of a doubt. These brothers on the panel right here, me and my brothers and my family, we are some of the smartest beings, if not the smartest beings on the entire planet. And sooner or later, sooner or later, let me finish, please. I'll let you speak. And sooner or later, people are going to realize and understand that this is not a game. We are not what you think. We are not what you think we are. We are what you think you are. Do you understand me? So I appreciate your opinion. If you have no further questions, um, I would like to go to the next caller. Yep. Thank you, Thank host. You, sniper. Okay. Thank you. Before the next um person or the next caller come up in the panel, I want to let y'all know that um we here healing generational curses and consciously we are light years ahead of the public and light years ahead of society right now. So the things that we do are going to confuse everybody. They're going to confuse the public because healing these curses that we have is not going to look pretty. It's going to look ugly, and that's just what it looks like. But if you don't look on the surface of it and you take a deeper look at it, then you will see that we're actually healing traumas that we all have to overcome sooner or later. If you don't see it now, you have to you'll see it in the end. Pyramid. You feel me? At the end, Pyramid. all knees shall fall and every tongue shall confess. That's three. Okay, I keep this quick. Um, I just want to say that I can personally vouched that that young lady that came up and talked to y'all the story that she told is true i have spoken to her 
I would encourage each and every one of y'all to seek her out. I know you all have phones and nobody is looking over your shoulder. Okay. So if you want to follow me, because I know y'all y'all know my IG page. And if you don't, it's the underscore black velvet one. BP, if you are watching, get in contact with me and I will be the personal link between you and these fellas. Listen to her. She was there. She was there from the beginning. Everything she tried to tell you all is true. He shitted on everybody before you all. And he will shit on everybody after you all are gone. Trust me. She knows what she is talking about. Hey, excuse myself. Listen, listen. I let, um, what's the name, come up and talk. It's enough that I'm even letting you come up here and talk. At the end of the day, I'm not about to let you come up here and right. defame. No, stop. No, listen, I'm talking. I'm being not. Nice. I haven't disrespected you. This, this, not, this may not be for you. Angel, you her. Angel, you her. Get her up, get her up Angel, out of here. Angel, you her. Angel, you her. Thank you. Yes. Okay. No, thank you. Now listen, you're not gonna come up here and just talk down on my chief name like that. I have too much respect for myself and what I live for and what I stand for. Y'all can be ignorant and live in the dark and the shadows if y'all want to, but you're not gonna get up here and just talk how you want it on my on my chief's name. This is not a game. This is my life. I literally sacrificed my life to do this for humanity, and I'm doing. We're right. doing this for y'all, and y'all right. don't even realize it. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all don't even realize it, but when you do. When you do. So at the end of the day, all I want to say is this. We're going to take a few more questions. But this right here, people just coming up and ran. That's not what we're here for. All right, y'all. We're going to keep it to one question. Black Velvet one is not. No. On. One question and move on. Y'all trying, okay. trying to come up here and, and talk to us as though we're some type of victims that we need your help. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't need your help. <laughs> Nobody. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I do not need your help. Please leave me alone. Leave us alone. We don't need you. Okay. Period. Uh, I'm you talking? You you wasting your breath. I'm really. I want. I just want to stay respectful. You wasting your breath. I don't need your contact and nothing. I got everything I need right here. I have my God. That's all I need. That's my source. I don't need anything else. That's it. Host, I'm talking to the comments and anybody uh, else that'll listen. Like I said, BP was a part. She is telling the truth. Y'all will see, and I won't come back up here, but y'all will see. He shitted on them. He go shit on y'all, too. Thanks, Velvet. Um, yo, you're not muted, Joe. You muted yourself. You're not. Yeah, I'll mute yourself. Um, yo, I'm going I'm to end this in, like, 10 minutes. Just let you know, unless one of y'all want to take it. So we just going to take a few more questions. I'm going to let y'all yeah. do closing remarks if you want, and then I got to hop off. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I want right. to say something real quick. I want to say something real quick. It's a difference between discipline and abuse. You need discipline to be great. Why y'all don't why y'all don't be saying nothing about the motherfucking drill sergeants that be talking crazy to the newcomers? Why y'all don't why y'all don't say nothing about that? When my chief give us negative affirmations, y'all want to play crazy about the negative affirmations. It's it's not it's not see y'all y'all look at everything in the like in the first dimension. Y'all gotta open up y'all man. Y'all gotta expand y'all man. Y'all gotta like y'all gotta expand y'all man. <laughs> you feel me? Question: Is pushing Vaughn is is that someone in carbonation? Who's Who? Vaughn? Oh no. Okay, I don't know. They just. Oh, supporter, supporter, supporter. Okay. Um, the, Vaughn, the negative affirmation. Go ahead. You're going to be my last one. Hey, y'all. I just got like one and a half questions. Now, hypothetically speaking, if Nature Boy does not get out or something happened to him, who's next up for Chief? Anyone? Three God is getting out. I said hypothetically. Is anyone Three guys else gonna get out? He out. Three okay, but I have a question out. for Jax. I have a question for Jax. You say that's your Messiah, so on and so forth. But when he was speaking about that the um transgender woman can come and give fellatio to any one of you all, you did like this. And he turned around and looked at you. So were you willing or not? 
because it seemed like you weren't willing. Oh yeah, I'm 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 into transsexuals. I have no shame in that. I admit that. So I was just asking, well, why did you go like like that? I don't know what you've seen. I don't remember that moment, but all I can say right now is that I'm into trans transsexuals, um, especially the beautiful ones. You know, the beautiful, the better. Especially if they got a good mind on them, if you know what I mean. Mm. Well, someone, uh, Empress is saying she got 200 for them if you come to my live. Say what? Empress says she have two hundred dollars for you if you come over to my live to answer. Some hey, we, don't, we don't work for money, man. We don't. We don't work for money. We don't do things for money. Oh. But but okay. we we do take donations and our cash up is dollar sign th thirty well, three god. Put it in a donation, but okay. I put I put I put I put Thank that in the you chat. Me up, hon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. We doing a few One more caller. Um, I got, let me see, three people, three people, y'all. Yeah. Put them threes up, man. Threes up. Pussy three. Oh, yeah, pussy three. Hey, no let's go. Three. I have no questions. I just want to say pushing three. Pushing you said what? Three. Three. Keep pushing right. the three. Free the oh, three. Yeah, All three. Right. We're not going to count that. We got... All right, this is one. Okay, I'm back up. I remember my other question. All, All right. right, and it's gonna be quick. And personally, guys, I like the number seven because seven is the number of completion. All that good jazz. All right, so um, seven is really a nine. Like uh -huh. Right, seven is really a nine. Child. Okay. Anyways, um. <laughs> Just like y'all, I don't conform to any type of religion, um, but I do believe that there's only one higher power, and that's God, the creator. Not y'all, God, but God, the creator, in the spirit. So, um, we all growing up, whether you're white, black, what have you, we all have generational curses that we all have to break. It just so happens of my family, I am the black sheep. And I am the one that's breaking generational curses so my kids can be, you know, productive citizens of society. And I'm hip to all the, you know, all the theories and everything else, um, as well as the Willie Lynch letters. I have read those. And I know what the Willie Lynch letter says. But my question for you guys is, when do we as a people stop blaming shit? on white supremacy when we're the reasons why shit is happening. White supremacy has a lot to do with a lot of things that we have going on, but at the same time, we as a people have conformed to that white supremacy that the Willie Lynch letter speaks about, and we outlive this shit ourselves. Well, you got to so understand that. We as a people go away from that. You gotta understand that the the white man really comes from the black man. So if we really wanna like break through white supremacy, we gotta look at ourselves first. We gotta be introspective. Okay, but I'm 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 not white. I, I have as African uh, ancestry from Benin, as a matter of fact. I'm Beninese. So um with that being said, because we cause a lot of shit on ourselves. We can't blame everything on white supremacy. That, that, when do we true. take responsibility and say we fucked up and do right by ourselves that, and by our people? That's true. That's true. See, right. Answer. <laughs> we got to take responsibility. Motherfucker got to take responsibility. Instead of pointing the finger all the time, when you point the finger, you miss the point. For Be sure. introspective. Look, look, look at two. Look, look at two self. You feel me? Right, because a lot of things that I may do, things that I might sit up there and be like, God damn it, that was fucked up. I'm not gonna sit up there and stomp my toe and be like, you know what? God damn it, white supremacy. No, bitch, you should have paid attention to what you were doing. You stomped your toe on the edge of the bed. White supremacy ain't got shit to do with your toe and that bed. 
Phoenix, it's not that we um blaming the white man for anything. Actually, we take all the accountability for what's going on to ourselves and what's going on to our people. But one thing that we do have to do, we do have to acknowledge who turned off the lights. You was just about to email my man. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? We do have to we have to acknowledge that they turn off the lights, man. And once you acknowledge that, then you can begin to be uh introspective and do the internal work that you need to do on yourself. But until you acknowledge the problem, then you never gonna have the solution. That's real. Exactly. The solution exactly. is not blaming white supremacy. I think I think That's another thing to get you is, No no no. I think I think I, we, I think we agree with that. We agree with that. We're saying that it's actually it's balanced. Like you have to realize that yeah. we have to take accountability, but you have to also acknowledge the fact that we have exp we have experienced white supremacy genetically. So this is something that we as a people struggle with genetically because of white supremacy because we were enslaved, and so that is a challenge. A that, is, that is something we experience. So it's a balance. We're That's not just sitting there protesting, sent, telling the white man to give us no. We're actively doing things because at the end of the day right now it's nothing we can do against white supremacy we're not about to build up no army and go fight white supremacy we realize that white supremacy is going to kill us. white supremacy is going to destroy itself but in the meantime what we can do is we can work on ourselves and see what we can do and fix but we acknowledge like damn there's know. certain limitations because of white supremacy but you know what though no. that's the point that i was making i'm, I'm gonna be done in, um, in a minute uh queen i'm sorry i just got to say this that's what I was trying to get that you said. You said we can't build an army due to certain restrictions. Yes, we can. As a people, if we come together, do right by each other, quit blaming the white man for the bullshit that we did, acknowledge the shit, move on, we'll be better as a people, and we won't have to have these cups running around. You feel what I'm saying? What's your thing? May the Lord be you. Thank you, Phoenix. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm letting y'all know right now we got two. We got two more. So everyone else, I'm sorry. We can do this again. If they hey, allow after me. After this live, after this live, go to Keys Live. Uh Captain Solar gonna be jumping in off on that. After we do these questions, we're gonna pop it off okay. on Keys I'm gonna Live do on the show. And we're gonna do we're gonna jump over there. We're gonna slide over there. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do Janet Jew and Miss Knockout. Those are my last two, and then I'm gonna let y'all give closing remarks and then okay. okay? Thank you guys. All right. What's up? Peace, God. What up, what? <laughs> I got a question. So, none of you men see yourself as kings. Y'all just peasants, right? All, all y'all just peasants. What made you say that? What, 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 what would make you ask that question? What? The reason that I ask is y'all peasants because I just I hear Nature Boy referring to y'all as his peasants all the time. Like I hear him referring to y'all as his peasants all the time. He from time to time might call the women queens and this and that, but he referred to y'all as his peasants, like as his workers. You know what I'm saying? And I, I heard you, Juju. Everybody ain't no boss and everybody ain't no king. So I respect that you're not a king and you're not a boss. You know, mm. the other oh, that's not what he was saying. <laughs> nah, it's cool. He did um, say that. He said everybody ain't supposed to leave. He said everybody ain't supposed to leave. So I'm, that's I'm that's asking y'all, like y'all don't feel like y'all kings in y'all own right. He teaching y'all that he's a king in his own right. That's his teaching. His teaching is that he's a king in his own right. Ain't nobody had to wake up and tell Nature Boy that he was a king. He woke up one day and said, I'm a motherfucking king, and you motherfuckers gonna bow. And that's what y'all did. So y'all don't see no king-like characteristics in yourselves. That's what I'm asking. No, I definitely see king-like characteristics in myself, which is why I can acknowledge that my chief is a king. And I realize and I respect the fact that my chief has been ordained by the universe to be the king of this whole world. Baby, he didn't, he didn't have to be ordained by the universe. See what you're not listening to? You don't even listen to the teachings of your own king. Ain't nobody had to tell Nature Boy shit. Nature Boy woke up Nature Boy and said, you know what? Today, I'm going to conquer the world because I can do that. Ain't nobody tell him nothing. He is a king in his own right. But I understand that y'all don't see that. So y'all not listening to the teachings. Y'all y'all just being taught. 
Y'all not listening to what he's actually telling y'all and displaying to y'all. Y'all just doing whatever the fuck, whatever he say out his mouth. Suck my dick, drink my cum. This what you gonna do? Instead of lit show, instead of following his example, nigga, wake up, start your own motherfucking nation. But you can't because nobody told you that you could. And see, I had a conversation with Nature Boy on my real page, and he said you can do anything you want to do because you can. Can't nobody tell you you ain't no queen, black woman on a war panel. He said this. Okay, so when he said that, I'm like, so that means everybody in your house can be kings and queens, right? No, y'all can't. I can be a king and a queen because I'm not a part of his uh following, but y'all can't. Uh, let me say, let me say this. Um, let your knowledge lead you to its wisdom, and in the end, we are gonna see who is right. And just because you talk and speak loud don't mean you speak intelligently. And that's all I got to say. I, I speak very what intelligently. I, I, Everyone Janet, understands. Janet. But you guys have a great night. I hope you have a cup of calm to go drink and all that. Have a good night, motherfucker. <laughs> Thanks. All right. The last, this is the last one. We got uh, Miss Knockout. Sorry, the rest of y'all, we can do this again soon. But this, this is my last one. Hey, Miss Knockout. What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? So, you know, I, I've been covering what's up? I've been covering y'all, but um, I've been covering y'all from a journalist point of view. I haven't been covering y'all like to kick anybody when they down. It's just that y'all been broadcasting and is what's going on. And I've been broad rebroadcasting it and talking about it from a different standpoint than everybody else. I deal with energy. These are my sticks. I don't really need to ask y'all too many questions. Because my sticks answer all the questions I need to know. But I do, like, let me show you. Is it safe to ask these guys questions, sticks? Is it safe to ask these guys? And the sticks say, yeah. Okay, cool. Straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. All right. So listen, what I want to know is Nature Boy asked you to, to fan out and, and spread the word about, you know, what he wants you to spread. What is your message that you want to give to people? As, as far as like the news got it, it's all over the place. What do y'all want the people to know? Because I don't want to ask y'all questions about why are you there, this and that. Evidently, y'all are doing exactly what y'all want to do. What is the message that you want to get out to the people with all of this going on? What is your message that you have for the people about carbonation? The black man is God. Man, took the words the right out of my mouth. The black man is God. Chief is the modern day Messiah. He is God in the flesh, and we are his angels. Christ has returned. The return of the Christ is here. Pyramid. 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 And that's the three, man. That's the three. And we want we want to just spread that awareness. And we want everybody in the chat and in the panel to spread that awareness, man. We uh we are here for humanity. We came here to to help and teach everybody else. You feel me? Our lives don't belong to us, it belongs to y'all. So make sure y'all spread that awareness. Free three God, man. Y'all know who it is. Free the black man. Free all black men. Free the black man. Black man is God. We want into white Black man is the ruler of the earth. The black man is God. All right. So thank you, Angel, for letting me come up. I will see y'all guys later. Best of luck to y'all. All right. Peace. All right. So I'm going to let y'all each say something. For the closing, I want to thank all y'all for being here. I want to thank y'all for coming up here. You didn't have to. I ain't nobody, y'all. Hey, I'm just motherfucking Kate. Um, yeah. uh, we can do this again if y'all want. Or we can do this if y'all want. But, um, do you want to start say something closing out? You said who? You. You. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say, um, I want to say, yeah. Jesus didn't come back as a white man from the sky. He ain't come back. The clouds not, clouds didn't open up. Jesus, a white man, ain't come from the sky. He came from where you came from. He came as you, black man. Y'all look at my teeth as some regular nigga from the hood. Y'all look at my teeth as some regular nigga from the hood. 
He look like you, don't he? He look like you. He look just like you. But no. No, he a whole divan being. Mati is literally the Messiah. The Messiah is the messenger of God. The messenger of truth, righteousness. Go on the YouTube page. You're going to find, you're going to get all the keys to the universe. I don't think y'all really understand what y'all we what y'all really looking at. Y'all don't understand. But it's okay because at the end of the day, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Y'all going, it's going to be heaven on earth. Y'all going to eventually come to y'all senses. It's just a matter of time. And we patient. We trick. patient. We just going to keep proclaiming. We just going to keep sending out the message. We just going to keep letting y'all know who my teeth is. Pushing three. Pushing three, yo. All right. Thanks, Jack. You got close. The black man is God. The modern day Messiah is here. Three God. Y'all know him as Nature Boy. I am going to pin the cash app in the chat so that y'all can support. Support the movement. Go follow our YouTube channel. We on all streaming platforms with the music. You know, just spread the awareness, y'all. I love myself. Thanks, guys. Close this out.